Novatron. What is this box I have? Big, heavy box in my hand that says Novatron. Well, hello. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. This is Steve from Steve R Photography. And today I wanted to go into studio lighting. And specifically, I wanted to talk about a Novatron, or the Novatron brand of lights. They go back a number of years. I don't think you, you can't buy them new anymore. But you can certainly find a bunch of them on eBay, which is where I got mine. So, here's one right here. Novatron. V400. 400 means 400 watt seconds. Now, in today's world, you know, and including me, but everybody else, is going to these much more compact strobes, they're wireless, um, very light, battery power, put them on your stand, use them outside, you don't need AC uh, power, and they do quite nice. They have these in 600 watt seconds, they have 400 watt seconds, and of course as they get more powerful they do get bigger. Um, but there are some advantages to the Novatron. Let me put this away. One thing you'll notice right here is I have four plugs, which means I can plug in four of these lights. Which is real nice to do it from this one box, four lights. I could use one for a background light. I can use two for um, uh, lighting ratio on the face. And I could use one for a hair light. Whatever. Um, you can put some snoots on these and some modifiers. Uh, it, it's not as easy to... But there are, you know, there are ways of putting these in boxes and modifiers, just like what I have here. I won't really go into the details of what to use and what doesn't work with it. But traditionally, back in the day, you would use an Umbra. And I have a small one here. I didn't want to bring out my big one. Right there, small one. And it's got a little slot. And you can put it in. And there you go. Or you can use a reflective one. And they have reflective ones that have a diffuser panel on this side and then that way it acts as bounce plus diffuse. So a lot of different things you can do with this. And one thing nice, this head here is pretty lightweight. Don't need this anymore. Uh, so when I put it on the stand, it's not top heavy. If I put this on a stand, it you know, especially if you use the bigger ones, the 400 and the 600 watt seconds, these do get top heavy. Or if I have to put two of these and get 400 watt seconds, and they have to worry about tipping over and putting sandbags and all of that. Um, these you want to be careful because since they're light, I mean, they can be blown over. But um, it's nice that they're lightweight on top of your stand. Um, and then you just, your weight is actually right here and it goes on the floor. And you can see, I have it wrapped up here. Put that on my stand. And you, and you get a pretty good cord. Some are longer than others, but you get a nice long cord. And yes, you do have to use a cord, but you know. But for people, you know, particularly when I was getting into uh, studio photography, and my very first one I actually bought off of a photographer. His name was Carl Cox. Very good, very good photographer. And uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's not right here right now. But but anyway, you can just plug it in like so, and you put your light on, 
And then some of the heads, which, let me see if this one has it. Ah, uh, no. Some of the heads, which I don't have handy with me right now, have a, uh, a stop adjustment on this. You can do minus two stops or minus one stop. So I can put, this is a non-stopping head. So if I put this on, it's going to be controlled from the box. But if I put two of these in, they're going to both get the same amount of power. But for my ratio, if I want one head to be two stops less or one stop head less, I can use that little switch and that will reduce the power to this head and making it one stop less uh, light or two stops less light. And that's kind of nice. And if they're at the same distance from your model, then one's going to be brighter than the other. Um, some of these boxes, I don't know if I have it, not, not right here right now, have, oh, this one does too, sorry. Has a variable, and this is very nice, not all the boxes do. You had to actually pay more money to get this, but this right here is a variable adjustment. So I can change from very minimal to maximum. So if, if I don't need this much power and I turn it on and it's just really bright, boom, I can, you know, I have adjustment here. Now this knob will adjust all four of these. You cannot adjust, I mean, it would have been really nice. I wish they had a split dial, like these two could be adjusted and then these two could be adjusted, but they don't make that. Another thing you'll notice is I have this plugged in there and you can see it. it's a photo sensor. It's how I used to trigger this device. Um, I used to put a flash trigger on my camera and I would put a small flash right near this and it would pop and it was just, it, the amount of light was so little so it wouldn't affect my image for the studio but that would trigger this and then that would all simultaneously trigger your lights and that's how I would wirelessly trigger this rather than because it does have a connection for putting a sync cord from your camera that's how we used to do it but so what I eat what I you know so I could disconnect my camera from the box I would use the wireless so um, of course you don't have wireless from the box to the light you, know, you have to have the power and there are different ones you can see I have another one here and this looks like this is an older yeah this is an older model and this is the 500, 500 watts second. And it doesn't have adjustment. Um, actually, it did. It had 250 and 500. So, you know, I could reduce it right there by one stop, just going like that. And, uh, and then they had these nice cases that these would go in. And you put them in, you put your lights, and you put your umbrellas. And it kind of looked like the case that you would see like sax or, or trumpets come in and you close it up and you could carry it like that. Um, another thing you'll notice, there's a light bulb. This is your modeling light. So what was nice is you can, there's a switch on the box that will turn on the modeling light. And actually I have one of these shining in my background. I'm just using the modeling light. Um, but this would allow you to see kind of the ratio if you if you're getting shadows or how the light is falling on your on your model you had the lights there so and of course these are nowhere near as bright as the flash is going to be so this isn't going to affect your exposure so you don't have to turn them off before you take the picture and you can see it's got a, a circular uh, flash there nice reflector and just throws it off and I'll tell you I I've gotten some really nice lighting with these so um, I'm actually looking for uh, my next or whatever something to come up where these will be might become very useful to use so um, I'm not abandoning these yet even though they're much older technology um, but this is what I also wanted to touch on Say you're a student, you're a photo student, and you want to get into photography, but you don't have a whole bunch of money, you're in college, and you don't want to spend all your money on something that 
may or may not work, or you may not want to go that route for your career. Who knows? But these are great because you can go to eBay and you can find these all over the place on eBay. And um, they're not too expensive and you just look around. I haven't looked at the price lately, um, but I know when I got mine they were pretty uh, inexpensive and a good way to get uh, good quality light. You get one box, you, ha you can get you know, multiple light sources. These are easy to find. You know, people sell just individual ones. And out of all of my heads, I've never had, I don't think I've ever had one flash to burn out. And these are quite old, so I, I think they've probably been sold back and forth. So I, I know they've had some use on them. Some of the boxes look like they've had use on them. But I'm not really seeing, you know, I'm not having a problem. So, uh, what more can I say? I mean, they do have different size boxes, different power levels. Um, but it's a great way to get into photography if you want to experiment around. Because, um, you know, you can do four lights. Um, you know, if you want to go the wireless way, you got to buy four of those, or three of those, or two of those. Um, if you want to experiment with doing hair lights, um, you know, you can make cardboard enclosures to snoot it, to uh, narrow the light. You can put all kinds of diffusers. You just have to use a little bit of creativity. But you can modify the light that's coming out of that uh, all different ways. So, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, look these up. If, if you're in a boat where you're starting off and you want to get into some studio photography, uh, go on eBay, check just Novatron, just Google, I mean, uh, just put that in a search and you'll see a bunch show up. And uh, it's a good, easy, cheap way to get into it and try it. And then when you find out like what you really like and what your style is, and, you know, you can step up. You can also combine these with, you know, wireless ones. so. You can slowly build up your wireless gear and then uh, don't have to use these. Or if you want to have an indoor studio, you know, you can have it there all the time. And you never have to worry about battery power and all of that. So um, I think they're great to have. So anyway, uh, I think that's enough talking. I think I've covered enough on the Novatron. And please leave me some comments and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any remarks or other things. I know there's other brands out there as well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and have a good day.